Hello and welcome to Upside Down. Today we have another tutorial series. This time is a tutorial that you guys requested. So I'll be showing you how to add a head bobbing to your character. First, I want to talk uh, about the project that I have here. This is just a uh, standard Unreal project. The only thing that uh, I created is uh, I added the first person uh, template. We go to the folder where we want to create our camera shake, right click, and then we go to blueprint class, we expand all classes and we write shake, there is a camera shake, select, I'll call this head bobbing. Now, okay, we open our blueprint class and the first thing that uh, we need to do is we need to tick this uh, single instance. What it does is that uh, whenever we are calling the shake from our character, it will do it only once, so we need to tick it. Then the duration, I'll put it to 1. I'll add some parameters uh, that uh, I already tested and uh, they work pretty well. So here into amplitude we will put 0 0.5, on frequency I will put 8. And on YAL we are not gonna put any amplitude, we will just put some frequency, I'll put something like uh, 5. For roll we will put uh, into amplitude 1 and to frequency I will put 7. And the last parameter that uh, we are going to add here is uh, in our lock. Here you have uh, X, Y and Z, so this is uh, basically in what direction uh, you want your uh, bobbing. Uh, usually when uh, you are running your your head is going up and down it doesn't go side to side so we are just going to go for Z we'll put an amplitude of 1 and frequency I'll go 10. We are done with uh, our camera shake let's compile and save it and we can close it. Now we go to our player class we need to find our movement input we right click and first thing that we need to take is player controller get player controller now that we have our player controller we drag from it and say play camera shake okay we need to connect this here after the movement input and for the shake we need to select our uh, shake that we just created I'll move this tab right here I'll select the camera shade that I just created and here with the arrow we applied it. There is one more uh, parameter that we need to put, this is for our scale and for scale we're going to use our axis value. I'll do the same thing here, I'll connect this, we already have our camera shake added and then I'll connect the axis value. We need to connect the target to be our play and controller. Now we can compile, save, and now if I go and play the game and move, you can see that we have a camera shake. This is something that you can uh, play with as uh, values, and also it's something that if you have running for your character, you can add another camera shake there that will be with uh, higher values, and then the effect will be much stronger. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like the video, and see you next time.